Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today we got an update with the hydroponic tomato plant as you see here this plant is basically going all over the place and you might be looking at these strings and wondering what that is what I'm doing here is basically low stress training the plant which is essentially just a little string or knot that you tie onto a branch that's reaching too high up and by for example this branch right here this would be like a sucker let's say it's too high you would tie a little a knot and pull it down and now this gave you all this additional growing space to allow the plant to get nice and bushy and develop more flowers which will turn into beautiful tomatoes and I mean the goal of this space here is really to maximize it out and this is basically going to be my area for tomatoes and possibly peppers it's going so well I even added a little hanging pot right here that I'm just going to hand water with also with cocoa core and it has little tomatoes this was a little a sucker that I took and I just put it in some water and to allow the roots to start to grow it took about five days and there were roots all over the place and that and the nice thing with this is here let me show you a sucker so I could explain it a little better when you're planting let's say this sucker into the ground you don't want to put this just straight down into the soil lay this down sideways and all of this right here is gonna be space for the new roots to grow and the plant will begin to grow upwards this way so all of this space will be nice root development and give the plant a nice sturdy strong start and you'll probably maximize on this on your space like that also so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna have a little hanging pot right here and I might even add some pepper plants when they get bigger over here I have some sriracha peppers I mean excuse me some paprika peppers going as well as some sweet peppers that I'm trying to germinate right now and if you look inside here to get a closer look we have beautiful tomatoes ripening there's a nice bunch right there it's a lot of them we have a lot of them on this side as well a ton on this side and there's either beautiful tomatoes ripening or new flowers forming and tiny tomatoes developing and I've started to s save all the suckers I'm not clipping anything all the suckers are growing this is all gonna develop into its own new stem with new flowers and tomatoes on it as you see here this is actually a tomato sucker that I took on the 28th of February it is actually it's March 1st already I'm sorry April 1st now and this thing is doing pretty well for a little tomato sucker transplant it has about 30 flowers on it and there's still a bunch of side shoots that are growing and new tomatoes forming still so it's going to be even more than that and what you want to do basically when the plant is starting to fill up its space too much and you're running out of room up top as is, as is going on right here which I'm going to tie this down probably later tonight I want this to get as much sun as it can until I pull it down what I'm going to do is basically come in and just take a string, tie it around here, and as you see it's already pretty close up top. It's going to be pulled down to about over here, and then it's going to start growing back up this way. So now I'm able to save all this space up, he up here and extend the life of the plant, allowing me to maximize it on the production and the fruit development of it. And once you put up the strings, it's not really necessary to cut them off. You could really leave it. 
as you see, look at the way this plant is growing. It's kind of going in a nice circle. And I mean, the fruit development speaks for itself, I think. There's things all over the place. And look at this nice one right here. Look, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, I think like 22. Wow, that's gonna be a nice vine. 22 tomatoes, beautiful. Couldn't be happier. This plant originally had about 100 tomatoes, I mean flowers forming, which is really tomatoes now. Now I'm not even sure what the count is, but I don't think I'm going to have a shortage of tomatoes anytime soon, considering this plant is doing so well. I have this one up top. I got two more right there that I transplanted. I'm very happy with its development and its growth right now. And for those of you that remember, this was originally two plants right here that I grafted together. And if you see up close, it's looking very, very good. A lot of root development all on the inside of the tape. A lot of humidity and moisture. As soon as I put the tape on, not even a minute later, you could already see the moisture started developing inside. And it's been like that ever since. This plant is nice and strong. One second, it's definitely one solid plant now instead of two. So I think that was a very successful graft and couldn't be happier. So if you have any questions, if you leave them down below, I'll do my best to answer everything. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.